really strong 600 weight vinyl bag. This is what we call our 60 litre bag. This will hold all your spearfishing equipment. And um, one of the key features about it is very durable straps, very, very heavyweight product, and a real serious plastic zip. A big emphasis on the zip. We've made sure that they're very good zips. They're a Japanese zip from uh, YKK. So with this package you get the, the Freediver two-piece fin, which means that the blade comes away from the pocket. If you turn it over, you see a fixing screw on the bottom. Now why two pieces that we can look at upgrading our blade later on, taking this out and putting some composite blades in later on. So why I talk about is um, why put our fins in the, our bag first. What it does is it provides a real stable platform for your gear to sit on top. So I want to show you a trick first. So we've got our fin. It's got a really great compartment here. What we do is we get our mask and this is another product that um, comes in the package. Soft silicon, black silicon with tempered glass. And it's really, really important to have black silicon. The key feature is buckles that aren't attached to the side of the glass or being rigid plastic. So what we want is a nice soft silicon buckle. To look after your mask, simply put it inside your pocket. And that provides a very, very safe travelling compartment for your mask as well. So let's put that in our bag. Now, our snorkel, obviously we have a snorkel. Key feature for a snorkel is a good size ball for breathing and a comfortable mouthpiece. Once again, I just stick it into my fin then I know where it is. So in the package we've got some um, Amara leather gloves. A key feature about these gloves is the product is a Kevlar thread, not cotton. So there's Amara leather plus a vinyl synthetic on the end. All the hard wearing areas. With a Velcro strap that goes around the wrist. Very, very strong, durable gloves. And the gloves are selected to your size. Socks. Either three or five mil socks as required, depending on your location. But the socks have hard wearing bottom, stitching, and on the inside, they've also been glued as well. These socks are very durable and a very good fitting sock. So what's really important with float lines, you want a line that's going to blend into the environment. As you can see by using a dark line, it gets your wet suit, blends in quite well. It's a really important thing to do with hunting. If you look at a brighter type of line, one jumps out and one blends in with the environment. So you want to look at a line that blends in very well. With this float line, it attaches to your float on this shark clip here with the swivel. Get rid of that, we don't need that. And that will bring a gun around. And the stainless rod clips onto the stainless shark clip on the end of the gun. That's how that goes. So with the float line you get a choice of 10, 15, 20 metres of line. So depending on your diving location or the type of diving you're doing, you can select the line that you need. With your package, you also get a choice of a cap or a beanie. Okay, that'll look after you on the winter days or the sunny days, so you get a choice. rubber belt with four lead. Now what's really important about a rubber belt is that when the belt is on your body you don't get any movement as canvas belts or canvas pocket belts will slip around your body causing discomfort. 
So a rubber bell is a necessity for spearfishing, for comfort. You get four weights with the package, but if you're slightly heavier, over 90 kilos, you would be advised to buy a fifth weight. If you need advice on that, please ask. Now, we never store our belt and our lead in our bag, we just leave it to one side. So, with our spear gun, the model of the gun is called Freedivers. The key feature of this gun, it's the deepest rail in a spear gun on the market today. If you look in there, it's a very, very deep rail. It has a really good safety. It's safe. It's fire. Durable clip system for attaching your float line to. And it has a unique feature where it's called a frictionless trigger inside the trigger mechanism. So the trigger, when loaded, uh, the trigger never adjusts to any tension. So it's a nice soft trigger. It has the option of two rubbers. So you can run your gun with two rubbers, two 16s, or one 20mm rubber. And it comes with a 6.6mm shaft. The Freediver's gun is a very solid, solid gun, and it's not really an entry gun. It's a gun that will grow with you. You don't need to buy another gun. So we don't put that in our bag, so we'll leave that to one side as well. Craystinger, which is designed for hooking on the back of your float. Okay. Top it off. Magazine on spearfishing techniques and the how to spearfishing guide on loading your gun, setting your float up, safety with your belt, and putting your wetsuit on. Very important to have a very sharp knife. Also into your wetsuit pouch, which I'll show you now. In your package you get a 5mm Moray wetsuit. You've got two options of a camo wetsuit or a black commando suit. Both suits are identical in features, just the colour difference. So starting with features, we have a stitched chest pad on both suits. We have a wrist seals on both, providing really good sealing on the suit, on the wrist, keeping the extra warm. On the face and on the hood, we have another seal. And what that does, that allows for a comfortable fitting uh, hood on the face. And with the suit here, the, the neck and the hood is very fitting, as you can see the shape in the neck and around the chin. If you look on the camo one, you can see the fitting of the the chin as well. Double clips. Okay. So on the long johns, what we have is we have the, uh, what Moray is famous for is the armadillo knee pads. If you look how the knee pad works, folds around, providing a very thick knee protection and it's very comfortable and very streamlined as well. Also, it has seals on the ankles as well. And also a knife pouch. As you can see on all suits, it's the same feature as well. On the pants, long john style shoulder straps. All suits are made out of open cell rubber, which on the inside of the suit, if you look inside, it's very sticky rubber on the inside. You do need to lubricate the suit to get it on. This is done with a gentle shampoo or body wash mixed with water. All suits have been hand glued and top stitch with what we call a flexible stitch to help the suit fit more comfortable. 
These suits are extremely warm and you'll really enjoy these suits before you get it. So put your wetsuit in your bag, put it on top, Gen generally the first thing that comes out. So. Go on top, makes it easy to carry. And, uh, always carry uh, white belt separate.